Let's talk how you actually prepare for a cleanse or detox. Now, if you think I'm talking about just going and buying a bunch of juice stuff and bringing out the big blender and having all your meals prepped, yeah, no, that's not it. So often when we go into a cleanse or detox, we are feeling in a state of urgency. We feel like we don't know where else to start. So we start by wiping the, the counters in our kitchen, if you will. And that can be helpful. It certainly can be. But here's the thing. Before you start a, a cleanse or detox of any kind, I highly recommend looking at some other things in your life. Because unless you have these other elements in place, your cleanse or detox is not necessarily going to bring the full results that you're thinking it's going to bring. It can certainly jumpstart a lot of things, but if you really want good progress and results, here's the ticket. If we need to look at our hydration and making sure we're very consistent with drinking high quality water. I recommend distilled or reverse osmosis and drinking at least 50% of our body weight consistently every day. Okay. Even in winter. Now, the other part is our diet. We often think we eat healthier than we do. And I'm not talking about a restriction diet here, but what I am talking about is let's be honest about what we are eating and look for opportunities where we can clean up our, our eating, even just a little, right? Reducing some of the packaged snacks, reducing some sugar, um, reducing the processed foods, right? Simple little changes that are not going to disrupt our family's meals, right? Is not going to disrupt our children's pickiness, but it's going to help create healthy habits for yourself and your whole family. Now, these two things alone set you up for better success already in your cleanser detox because they're preparing your body to start absorbing better nu nutrients. Cleanses and detox often strip a lot of what's going on in our body. And depending on the ones that you're doing, it can also strip nutrients. So we want to make sure that those things are going back in your body and it's best position to start absorbing those good things to help build health because we just don't want to strip it and leave nothing there because then we're going to have a lot of illness. We're going to be susceptible to other things that happen. So these two things are my top two tips to clients before they even talk to me about what kind of cleanse or detox they want to do. The third is stress. You know, I've said in prior videos several times that we have to stop downplaying the effects of stress in our life. If you're truly interested in, in detoxing and cleansing your life, a lot of us could look at stress and where it's coming from, what our triggers are for it, what it's doing to us mentally as well as physically. Starting to unidentify these things and then working with someone like me um, to build a plan of action around them can help you find stress solutions that allow you to naturally detox from things. And you'll be amazed how better you feel just from that alone. And when I tell people this, they think I'm crazy. But honestly, if you get your, some of your stress under control, you maybe don't even need a, a detox or cleanse. Okay, so there's a lot of opportunity here to look at things um, and build on health without going to the extreme of a detox and cleanse. It doesn't mean that you may not need one or some variation of one, but certainly if you're building up good hydration, you're getting good vitamins and minerals into your body, and you're working actively to reduce stress and manage it, those three things alone are very good head starts and where I recommend people start before we start looking at cleanses and detoxes. And it's how I recommend and walk people through preparing for a cleanse or detox so that while they're going through it, it isn't a burden. It isn't something extra they're doing if it's naturally into what they've already started. And it's a stepping stone to larger and better goals that they want to achieve in their health. If you're looking for more, you can reach out to me at dragonspitapothecary.com.